today we'll be talking about the solar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when the moon covers part or all of the sun in the sky. If it's only part of the sun that gets covered, it's called a partial solar eclipse. But if the entirety of the sun is covered, then it's called a total solar eclipse. Why does a solar eclipse happen? Well, the moon rotates around the earth, and the earth rotates around the sun. When the moon is aligned just right so that it can cover the sun, a solar eclipse occurs. Because the moon is in front of the sun, the moon casts a shadow on the earth, making it look completely black. In fact, the sun and the moon are just the right distance away. The moon is 384,400 kilometers away, and the sun is 149.6 million kilometers away. So that the sun appears the exact same size in the sky as the moon, making the moon perfectly able to block the sun's light except for the sun's outer rays. The sun's outer rays appear as the glow coming from the eclipse, which is called the corona. However, this doesn't occur as often as you might think it would, because the moon's orbit around the Earth is slightly tilted 5 degrees relative to the Earth's orbit around the sun, which makes total solar eclipses appear every 18 months. You'll be able to see the next total solar eclipse in 2024 on the path of totality, which is basically just all the places you can see the total solar eclipse. The places are Austin, Texas, Dallas, Texas, Little Rock, Arkansas, Carbondale, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, Toledo, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, Akron, Ohio, Buffalo, New York, Rochester, New York, Montpelier, Vermont, and Montreal, Quebec.